What's going to guys, super excited for today's video because tomorrow we are receiving a modification that I have always wanted to do to my trucks but never felt like I had the right one to do it. I'm also extremely nervous because this is a very large item and if it gets damaged basically at all during shipping, the entire thing is a bust. So I'm sure you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we ordered a Cervini cow hood pre-painted in velocity blue and it is showing up tomorrow via FedEx which terrifies me because I have terrible luck with things being shipped to me and they have a very strict policy on opening the box before you sign taking ownership of it if there's anything wrong with it you got to send it back you got to go report the item as damaged and then you got to unfortunately wait another month to get it in we ordered ours 20 25 days ago so it actually came in pretty quick I think they say like a 30 day estimated time um, so a hood pre-painted within 30 days I'm super excited and obviously I'm stoked of how it's going to transform this truck because it, it truly is this thing is gonna look like a completely different monster tomorrow and it's gonna give us an entirely new attitude and if all goes good we might just have to get one matching for Larry so I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow I'm gonna film the entire unboxing process right there in front of the FedEx guy hopefully we uncover a beautiful hood I'll catch up with y'all then so depressing this time of the year but we are finally headed to the farm with the hood keeping it nice and slow got some bungee cords on it but i don't want it to fly out that would be absolutely terrible so i'll catch up with y'all at the farm should be fine I'll catch y'all in the morning one last look with the stock hood very flat I'm stoked <laughs> time to get this cow hood on there this thing looks freaking sick without the hood on there <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to unwrap this thing, but we're gonna wait until we get it on there because I don't want to potentially scratch it. So, got the old one over there. We gotta flip this one over, transfer the latch, and then it should be ready to bolt on there once we take these guys off. How much heavier this one is? Oh, light too. Good. I guess. I'll do the box. Walking that thing off the truck with it on my back last night. Right, carefully. Don't hit the pavement. What? Oh, I'm in a predicament. I'm in. Don't be in a predicament. 
we've got a transfer a little weather stripping as well uh, i might even have to do the little bump stops and this latch okay well that one went in there you said this is a bad shoulder to you carefully don't okay. go too far okay i'm gonna a little bit you got the top? Just hold the top. Okay, yes, I got the top. I hear the trail, boys. <sighs> We're in the predicament. Temporarily on there. It's on there. Thank you. Could not have done it without you. Quick pause in the hood install. Showcase the trail boss for all those that love it. Still looking good. I got a couple things in mind. I'm going to get him for Christmas. Complete the blackout on this thing and really just complete it, dude. It looks so freaking good. It's filthy right now, dead go. Had some bad weather lately, but she's looking slick. Them taillights got to go, though. I'm saying that. All right, guys. Ain't going to lie. It's been a while. We've had some issues. I may or may not have caused a boo-boo on the hood, but... Uh, such is life, but we are going to take this off. We'll talk about, I'll show you all about the thing in just a minute and we'll cry about it together and see what we can do about it. But guys well here she is looking so freaking mean i cannot get over it it is just the most angry looking truck i've ever seen three inch servini cow hood <laughs> dude look at this freaking truck wild clot wagon getting it anyways um yeah dude this thing looks so incredible just gave it a good wash it is like perfect right now i don't even want to drive it because i want to get dirty unfortunately we got a full weekend worth of storms got them to pre-paint it it's just the top the underside is still black but the paint as far as in this lighting hadn't been sunny yet but it, it looks spot on perfect it looks gorgeous just flawless well i say flawless almost it was flawless before i got my hands on it but um i'll show you all that in just a second but little walk around I'll show you my favorite angle dude this little side profile right here oh my god it's just so freaking aggressive now so freaking mean let's back up here this velocity blue on this overcast day just treats me so right it definitely needs a whipple to back up this look because it looks freaking nasty i got up next to a cam g8 last night and he popped down one gear and i was like Phew. I had a freaking Whipple, dude. It'd be on. Another wild clap wagon with some mud grap, sounds like. Look at that profile. Oh, my 
gosh. Maybe I might be boggers. Didn't sound quite like mud grabs. We've got our new LED fog lights coming in very soon because y'all know we got to be on that fog light life, but not with halogen lines. So soon, soon, soon. I, I could just sit here and walk around this thing all day. And I was going to go somewhere cool, you know, like I typically try to do new backgrounds, new reveal video, but. I just don't even want to get it dirty. I just pulled it out here and I was like, dude, that looks insane. I got to film the video right now. The paint looks spot on, perfect, flawless. Um, it is a little, I'd say a little, it's really difficult to get this thing lined up properly. Me and Lauren went back and forth for like at least an hour and it's still not perfect. We've still got to do some fine tuning um, to get it perfect. You know, you, you wouldn't really notice the, the, alignment issues unless you really look for them but my biggest thing that i messed up on was lowering the hood too low i was trying to do it by myself like a knucklehead um without making sure 100 percent it wasn't gonna touch the fender and we touched the fender and we boogered it up a little bit right here which like i said Come on, focus. It sucks bad. I've been beating myself up all afternoon about it because this is literally a very expensive part. It's brand new, fresh paint, and I go and do this to it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. We all, you know, mess up and goof on some of these things. No one's perfect. Clearly, I'm not. So I got to quit beating myself up. I have a customer, you know, a company made me a aerosol can of color matched velocity blue paint because I was going to do some color matching on it and i think i'm going to be able to scuff that a little bit do a little sand on it get it smooth tape all this off and uh, hit it with that and you know then you won't be able to notice it it's not noticeable like really now but obviously it sucks it's a brand new hood <sighs> but it is what it is i'm gonna i'm just gonna i'm gonna let it go guys i'm gonna let it go it's not gonna be the end of the world i did have to put a little washer on the back side of the hinge which hopefully doesn't give us any issues to raise the hood up some because it had a very large gap on the back side compared to the fender anyways y'all comment down below let me know what you think about the Cervini's cow hood on the 21 coyote i'll see y'all in the next one this freaking cow hood is huge it does take up a ton of visibility I ain't even gonna lie to y'all at least with my truck sitting like it is which i'm sure it does it for all of them unless you got like crazy rate going on it takes up a ton of visibility. It looks freaking sick though.